Hey everybody, this is Laura Kenna with KNNA News and LPA, Laura and the Party Animals. Now, for the most part, we are changing over to KNNA News and we would love to have you like and subscribe to our videos. Our, we are going to, we would like to be able to bring you real news, okay? Not fake mainstream media news that many of us are encountering. So we are going to do the best that we possibly can to bring you the real and up-to-date news. And yeah, I'm kind of opinionated, so you'll probably see my opinions. But the news, it will be the real news. Um, and the animals are all still going to be doing it with us. So again... Um, Laura and the Party Animals and Laura Kenna are going to be over as well on KNNA News, which is Kenna Network, News Network and Associates. And we appreciate all of you, every single one of you, and please consider joining us over there. So the title of the video, I Know Who Killed JFK and RFK. Um, and I have sent message, <laughs> I have tried to send message over to Tucker when he was with Fox. I've tried to send message over to Tucker um, right now with, with the must-own. Um, also, I've actually sent an email over to Robert F.K. Jr. Because, I mean, I'm a crime victim and we need closure. And it's only fair that the Kennedys get closure. Um, I am I'm a born Texan, a natural born Texan. And for the most part, how do I word this? Um, I would think that if anybody is going to be able to come forward with accurate information, it would probably be a Texan considering the assassination was in Dallas, Texas. I will not bring any names forward on how this information, how I, I came to get some of this information, because that is irrelevant. Um, the only thing that is relevant here is the information itself. So um, there's a guy, there was a guy by the name of Carlos Marcello. Um, now, he was a New Orleans native. He was involved with the mob, the mafia. Um, and there were so many people involved in this assassination. Um, so, Lyndon B. Johnson was, now this is to the best of my knowledge, and I, this part I cannot verify for you, um, at least aware of this, um, Castro, Castro from Cuba was all involved in this. And this goes way more deeper than just, you know, the civil rights movement um, and policies that, that JFK intended to change. This also involved, and it goes back to Kennedy Sr. and um, like the alcohol, and it's so more involved than than what you would think it was right um and, and it involved you know i i mean i i've got i'm, I'm not even going to get into how much it actually involved um but i will give you the key pointers of this so this carlos Mercalo, um like i said he's a new orleans native and he's the one that was a big, big involvement um, in this Kennedy assassination. Um, Lee Harvey Oswald was, you know, just a guy they were able to, you know, basically get to do the job. Um, yeah, I couldn't tell you. I honestly don't know. Is there a second shooter? I, I don't know. I think probably, but I, I cannot verify that part of it. But so... The mafia was, you know, had every intention of, of killing him. Lyndon B. Johnson had reasons to do this. Cuba had reasons to do this. And people all involved 
with the alcohol, which all had to do with Kennedy's father, all had reason to assassinate JFK. Um, and of course, RFK. <laughs> so when they, they planned this, there's a guy, an, another guy, and this is a guy, and I'm still trying to hunt the name down. I am doing my best to find that name. Anyway, he was all involved in this. He was not the shooter, okay? He was not the shooter, but he was involved. And actually, he had gone and traveled from somewhere on the east, towards the east, into Texas to actually witness the assassination. Um, everybody involved knew that that this guy he knew he had too much information so i've got to get the dates um looked up i don't i do not know the dates but i will find that eventually for you as soon as i find the guy's name anyway um they put out a hit on this guy well they were able to kill his wife and they even killed his dog in this attack but this guy was actually able to get away um in all this information that i am giving you there is an audio tape and i don't know where that audio tape is i don't have that audio tape i've never had that audio tape in my possession i am only aware of the audio tape and if that audio tape is ever found, I will make sure you guys are able to hear it. Um, so this guy who they came after to kill his wife, I mean to kill him and they killed his wife and they killed his dog, um, he actually had called some people to pretty much use as a way to stay alive i mean basically if he could get out this information um you know that and they knew hey if they ever go after him again this this information is there um but in this audio tape this guy is not aware that he is being taped okay this was on a phone conversation not video or anything. This was way back then, so you only had the audio. Um, so that's kind of how this tape is there. And like I said, all of these people were involved for different reasons. Um, I, I don't even, like... I don't want to come forward with too much information, but um, I do hope the researchers um, take me serious about what information I have come forward with. And I just think everybody should be able to know, you know, who that person is or he, who these people were that all were involved in the Kennedy assassination. Um, you know, and this is just my opinion, okay? This is part isn't the real news, this next statement. But I do have to wonder, you know, how was, you know, John F. Kennedy, you know, Jr., you know, did they bring that plane down intentionally? Yeah, I don't, I don't know, but it does make you wonder right does bring up some questions but no that's not that's not part of the real news i can't verify that but what i can do is verify the information that i have told you um i do hope um robert f kennedy jr gets a hold of the information um that i'm trying to give you guys um I would have loved to have been able to talk to Tucker, but getting through to Tucker has 
in, in no way been easy. I mean, I can only imagine like all the people that call into them and all the fake stories that they get. This one is not the fake story. This is the real story. So anyway, thanks for tuning in and please join us for KNNA News. We would love to have you and, you know, we're just starting out like just now. I think this is my first video on there under KNNA News. Um, okay. And all you people with Laura and the Party Animals, I will be putting it on there. But um, our, our, we're really hoping to just, you know, have a lot of people join us and get that information over to our news and become part of our cast. So anyway, thanks for tuning in.